Hello everyone, and this is Generation Quit. And today we're looking at the Everest Conquest achievement for this season. It's like I did it two seasons ago, and now we're back again. Um, people really liked my video last season, and I am here to show you it again for this season. And in this season, the achievement is actually quite a lot easier. Because as you can see here, I'm doing it on Torment 12. On Torment 12 gives, it gives a lot more, I don't know the percentages, percentages correctly, but it just gives a lot more money. So in the, this season it's fairly trivial. It's like like two seasons ago, it was you need to set it up really well, and then it was all right easy to do. So this season is really easy, especially if you use the setup that I used two seasons ago. So uh, what I have here, Moon of the Hoarder, that gem is the most important item for or well, item gem for this build. It's like if you don't have this, it's impossible, essentially, because this is what gives you the money. Average band. Because that's what people suggested I should use. You don't really need it. But I have it anyway because people suggested it last time around. Then I have a Unity. And you might be like, why do you have a Unity? The reason why I have a Unity is, is because you, in the runes of Corvus, where we go, you need to open up all the doors first. And you can't really get through it without a Unity. Like, I'm without, like, um, like, using Vengeance. I don't use Vengeance because with, uh, the Visage of Gunners because I don't want to accidentally kill some mobs that might be needed. That's what, what, what my idea was. In retrospect, it wasn't all needed. It's like I could probably... Because I wouldn't kill anything anyway. But yeah, that's what I did. So, then a gold wrap to, be, uh, to become unkillable when you start picking up money. Gold skin also really nice to have. So you get 100% extra gold for monsters. And just for the extra gold. And chance for enemies to drop gold when you hit them. So even more gold. So those are the items that you need, and then you have the cube, I cube items, Ring of Glory Grindr. I have this one because, as you can see, I'm running the unhallowed set, but I'm running the unhallowed set with five pieces because I need to have my gold skin equipped. Um, considering the amount of survival that you will get once you start killing, you could probably switch out the Visage of Gunas with um, the gold skin, like chance for enemies to drop gold when you hit them can do that. I'd rather have it like this because then you also have the 100% extra gold. Because else you need to have like a chest that has gold rolled onto it. So those are the items that I use. The rest is just the standard unhallowed. It's so essentially my unhallowed build. But my chest, my belt and my rings and my ring of rowing and those are the items that I switched out. The rest is just stock unhallowed uh, set. So uh, yeah. That's, is, uh, that's the items that you need to have. It's almost the exact same as last season. I will put a link to those as well. And now I actually have a better quality run. Because uh, better computer and better settings. So where you're going is. That you're going to act 5. Oh, I'm already in it. Then you're going to the rooms of Corvus. But I will show you in the gameplay where you're going. And how you're supposed to do it. So uh, yeah. Let's get into the gameplay. So here we go. As you can see rooms of Corvus. And then, yeah, ignore the bounty. So the first thing we do is that we go and run towards the doors. We just skip everything because we want to open the doors first. Because the doors can hinder your progress and that's not what you want. As you can see, it's actually fairly doorless so far. It's actually a really nice uh, path that I have here. So I got lucky on the RNG. And this is the point where I, where I like having a... Unity is just nice for it. Like, if I didn't have a Unity, I would probably lose a shitload of HP there. Like, to like 20% or 10%, and then you get panicky and stuff. It's like, I just, this is just a foolproof raid. It's not like the best way. It's like, you could do more damage. But I was more playing safe than sorry. So, this is really safe. As you can see here, keep opening. Keep checking the map location to see where we're going. This is just purely set up. So I can see, I can see here. It's like I'm all, whilst I'm running, I'm already like uh, checking like how many mobs are there. And here I assume, well, there probably should be enough because I saw a shitload of little ones, and the little ones are the ones that give you a lot of money. So now it's just a matter of keep moving, picking up the gold. Obviously, if you little little pet, picking up the gold as well. In my case, a probe from Starcraft. As you can see here, just walking back, keep moving, always. It's like, 
like the only reason why I'm standing still is to get my damage off. It's like I actually should move away from them because because of my size stones and vengeance will make me do more damage when I run away. But I was like, I once I commit, I have to go, else I'm gonna lose my streak. So as you can see here, it's really, really easy to get. Let's keep going. As you can see, I also I'm like also have a massacre of 220, 230. So here you can see the pre preparation with the doors. This makes me be able to like not have to worry about clicking doors. And here I get it. As you can see, it's that easy. It's a lot easier than it was last time. Because last time I really had to walk the entire round. And I had to like carefully plan it. And here I'm like, what is it? 50-60% of the way 60 of the way in. And I already have the achievement. And I just here I just continue to give myself some time to talk. And to show you how easy it is and how much gold you will end up with. So yeah, I hope that you guys like this one uh, as much as the last guide that I did on this. And uh, I hope it helps you. It's like it's just about showing you the little things that you can do. And I even forgot something. And I will make an extra video for that after this uh, after this clip. So I'm sorry that it is like that. But I already made the first part. And I was like, hey, wait. I can do something extra. Because I remember my old video. But it is already so easy. So <laughs> yeah, but uh, stay around for the extra clip. So, this is a little bit of the extra part. I forgot something from, la from my last guy, which I just remembered. You can cheese your gold find even more, like getting even more gold find, by cubing the Leoric's crown, and then putting a green gem in your helm, so you get 48-1% extra gold for monsters, which you then increase by 100%. So you end up with, in my case, 21k gold find. And if I de-equip my helm, it's like I go down to 18k. It's like it's a shitload of money that you actually get from it, extra gold. So, I'm gonna quickly, this is just an extra clip that I'm gonna put at the end of the video. So here we're gonna do it again really quickly with the increased gold to see how easy it becomes. So, this is one that I will do with live gameplay. So we're gonna just pass everything. It's like we saw previously that was super easy. It's so interesting, it's like when I when I think about it, like the last season I needed all these tricks to get enough like gold find and now it's like I, I even forgot this super like nice trick and I still managed to do it easily. So let's uh, have a look. Mm, just need to stack up my uh, discipline a little bit when I start attacking mobs. Hmm. It's actually not, that, not as many mobs as that previous run. And this is a dead end. Oh no it isn't, but it's like there's no mobs there so it might as well be that. Let's just go for it. So here we go. Keep on going. The amount of gold we got now is insane, actually. So now I have to keep on moving. So that's the only problem now that I don't have enough cooldown reduction to keep my vengeance up all the time, which will hurt me a little bit in uh, in uh, getting enough hatred. Should be fine anyway. Lost the streak there, so I need to gain hatred again. Okay. There we go, pick up more gold. Here we go, here we got a nice group going. And there we got it again, 50 million. And I only walked this little, bu this little bit. So, uh, yeah, as you can see here, it, it makes it even easier. So I'm just gonna wanna run away now. But it makes it even easier. So you can get anything from just now. 
So yeah, that was a little extra part. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little extra part where you can see that it becomes even easier when you use the Leoric's crown and the green gem in your helmet. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm sorry that I broke this up in two parts because I, it was so easy the first time that I forgot that I can make it even easier. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you guys the next time.